welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for a tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion video since I've received so many questions about it so here is a step by step guide to make your perfect stop motion video obviously I know there are a ton of different methods to do this this is just how I do it and maybe someone else can do it differently and it's fine because there is just more than a way to make a stop motion let's just stop blabbering and let me show you what you need to do to make a perfect stop motion First thing you actually don't necessarily need but which is very useful in my opinion and I would highly advise you to download this mod is the Build Mod Freecam by Twisted Maxi. If you're not new here on the channel you know Twisted Maxi because practically I always give him a shout out in every single one of my videos thanks to his tool mod but he created also this mod which allows you to access the cinematic camera also from build mode which in this case is a life saver it is also when you build if like you want to see your house from a different perspective because usually if you don't own this mode you have to switch into live mode to access the cinematic camera so yeah this is just a little help and it makes everything a bit faster so I will have a link to this mod in the description box down below so that you can get it really easily and fast. Once you have downloaded this mod, what you need to do is to move it into your mods folder that you can find under your documents, electronic arts and the sims folder. Extract the file and copy your file into your mods folder and you're good to go. It's as easy as that. The next thing you want to do, which is once again not necessary but very helpful, is to locate your camera stats file into your game folder. Practically this will help you control better your camera. It's useful to do this because we have to record transitions between a scene to another, so we have to record some little short videos from point A to point B. Anyway, once you have located your video camera states file, you will need to open it, you will need to scroll down until the bottom of the file. Here you'll find some weird codes which may seem a bit complicated, but don't worry, it's easier than it looks. Practically what you want to do is to focus on the last three codes, if we want to call it this way, and you can decide how you want your camera to run practically. It can be linear, which means means that it keeps the same speed from point A to point B. You can choose easy in, which means that the camera slows down at the beginning and then it speeds up. You can choose easy out, which is practically the contrary, so it means that the camera starts fast and then it slows down at the end. Or you can choose easy in out, which is what I'm using actually, which means that your camera will start slow, then it will speed up in the middle and it will finish slow again. And then you can also change how many seconds it takes from the camera to go from point A to point B. Here as you can see I'm using 3 seconds but you can pick an higher number or also a smaller number if you want your transition to be fast. Once you're done with all your settings you can simply save and yeah that's it. You can also do this while your game is on so you can see your changes right away. Now that we are in game, let's start with the basics. You absolutely need to have your build done. It needs to be finished because it's not like a speed build where you just build the thing and you see it come to life with time. This time we need to have our build ready to go. We build our thing and then practically we destroy it. And while destroying it, we will take screenshots. So yeah, that's practically what we are going to do. We need to bulldoze everything, but little by little. The first thing I would like to advise you is to save your build onto your library 
so that if you delete something and then you realize you've made that mistake and for whatever reason you cannot go back to the previous placement of your objects you can still sort of go back because you have your build saved onto your library so nothing is lost another thing to keep in mind is that you practically need to think backwards because as i've already told you we are going to delete everything the things you're going to delete first are the things that are going to appear last in your video to make everything simpler we're going to work into build mode and not into live mode remember to toggle off the grid you know when you're building there is that annoying grid on the floor and if you press the g key you can toggle it off so it won't appear in your screenshots the next thing you want to do is to pick the room or the object or whatever that you want to appear as last in your video for example if you are working on an apartment maybe you want to start from the bathroom maybe because it's the most boring room of the old house i don't know well you can start wherever actually usually it helps to have like a pathway or something to follow for example if the apartment is vertical you can start from the bottom of the apartment so from the room which is farthest apart from the front door and if you're working with a building in which you built a shell so you have the shell then escaping outside and so on and so on you have to start from the interior because as i told you the thing you're deleting first is the last thing that is going to appear in your video and it would be weird to see the exterior come to life with the interior already done another thing to keep in mind which is very important is that given that we are working in build mode you need to keep in mind that when you pass your cursor onto an object or a wall or a door or a window or whatever the game is going to highlight it which can look bad once we are taking screenshots be mindful of that it's a mistake i really really often make for this tutorial i'm choosing this particular angle for my screenshots practically the cinematic camera works with some locks you can lock numbers that will lock your position so if you like position you can lock that position and just by pressing a number you can get back to that position to lock a position you need to press ctrl plus one of these numbers the numbers go from five to nine usually i use from five to eight but just because i use the 9 key while building to raise up objects and if you lock the screen with the 9 key the camera is going to spin while you're building and it's not something i particularly like but obviously you can use all of these numbers also usually you just need a couple of numbers because for example you just want to go from point a to point b and you don't necessarily need to go from point a to point d for example so whenever i like an angle for my screenshots i just lock that angle with ctrl5 and and then i choose the next angle so i move around my cinematic camera i find the second position i want to transition to and i save that position with the number six so i can switch between five and six without problems once we have chosen our two first positions of the camera we can start deleting objects one by one once you have deleted one object or more you need to take a screenshot so just do as i'm doing in this video delete a couple of objects then go into the cinematic camera then press 5 so you return back to that position you selected at the beginning and take a screenshot and you need to do this for every item you want to appear in that precise frame of your video if you want more than one object to appear just delete them and take a screenshot afterwards if you want the objects to appear one after another just delete one after another and take a screenshot in between them Once you're done with that five position you had set at the beginning, you can record your transition. To record a transition, you need to use a recording system. I personally use film on a screen, but there are tons of free recording systems, for example, OBS. You can also use the in-game recording system, 
which you can access by pressing the V key. But I don't recommend it because the screenshots and the video have a different screen ratio, so it will appear a bit jumpy, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I don't recommend using the in-game system, but yeah, you can use that if you'd like. Now, what you want to do is to actually record the transition from point A to point B, so from 5 to 6. You need to press first 5, so you return to your first position, and then 6. Obviously, you need to record the transition, because otherwise it makes no sense. But if you press 6, you will see that the camera will move to your second angle that you placed. So it will move from point A to point B, so from 5 to 6. Once you have transitioned from point A to point B, you can start deleting items one by one also from point B. So you have to do the same thing you did in point A. So just go back into build mode, delete one item, then go back to position 6 and take a screenshot. And so on and so on for all the items of angle 6. Then you need also to set another cinematic point with the number 7, so CTR AL plus 7 and then transition from point 6 to point 7 and then just do everything again. So once you're done with point 6 and once you've deleted everything you can transition to point 7 and do the same thing again. Once you are done with point 7 you can set another angle by locking the camera with 8 this time or anyway you can go back to 5 if you want and do the same thing again and you have to do this repeatedly until you're done with the whole house so you can for example transition from a room to another by using this trick by locking your camera so yeah that's practically all that a stop motion is and once you're done with the interior you can move to the exterior and you can delete all the landscaping and then all the walls and roofs of your house and yeah that's practically it But now that you have taken all of the screenshots, where are these items? You can find them in Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4 and then Screenshots. And there you will find all of your screenshots, also the ones you've taken before or the ones you've taken in game. I suggest you to reorganize your folder uh, by date so that you will have your screenshots in a chronological order just because it's easier so you can see all of your screenshots in order with the items reappearing or disappearing <laughs> depending on you decide to reorder your folder. Now that we have found all of our screenshots and all of our video transitions, we can go into our editing software. I use once again Filmora but you can use whatever editing software you want. What we want to do is to transfer all of our screenshots and all of our video transitions into our program and now we need to order them. You need to start from the last thing you have deleted. So for example, if you're working with an apartment, you need to start with the walls. And if you're working with a whole building, so with a building with landscape and so on, you can start once again with roofs and walls. But anyway, you need to start placing the screenshots of the last thing you've deleted. And you need to place all the screenshots in a sort of chronological order, so you need to place them from the emptiest one to the fuller one, so that we can see that the objects are starting to reappear as we drag on with the video. My editing software set the duration of these images to 5 seconds by default, but 5 seconds is a bit too long. Can you imagine if between each images 5 seconds seconds would pass it would be a bit boring to watch actually so I like to set mine with 0.15 seconds which is really really fast I like to apply a fading transition between each picture so that the objects will appear in a smoother way and it will be a less bit harsh to watch Once we are done with the first batch of pictures, we need to connect 
them with the next batch of pictures so we are going to use our video transition that we have recorded before so we are going to add our video to our project if needed you can also reverse it because sometimes when you record the video it might be that it goes backwards and so it doesn't go from point A to point B but it goes from point B to point A but usually in every editing software there is an option to just reverse the video now that our video transition is complete we can attach the second batch of pictures and we can do the same thing we did with the first one so we are going to place them in a chronological order so that objects are going to appear and then we are going to adjust the duration we are going to apply the fading transition then practically you need to do this with every single room you have in your house or in your build or in your apartment or whatever yes. and that's how you make a stop motion so there is no such thing as a set rule you can do this however you like but that's how I personally do it if you're going to start making stop motion videos just know that they are so much fun to do but they require a lot of time as you can see because it's not just a matter of editing it's also a matter of taking a ton of screenshots in game and sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming but I think that the overall result is quite worth it actually the purpose of this video was to give you a guide a step-by-step -step guide and some advices on how to make a stop motion and I really do hope this was helpful, I really hope you found it useful, if you did please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you're new here I do speed builds and sometimes stop motions and tutorials as you can see and yeah hopefully I'll see you all next Monday with another speed build, bye! Any ideas?